All right, let's talk about cascading inputs in Pro Tools. All right, so this is definitely going to be a shorty video because there's not a lot to be said about this topic, but I have this audiobook session open and I figured I would just use this as an example here. So the idea here is that we might have a whole bunch of tracks in Pro Tools and we want all the inputs to be in series. So basically, I'm going to just create a bunch of new tracks. So I just did Command Shift N. I'm going to do like six new tracks and I'm going to make a mono. Why not? So I hit enter to create, and so now I have audio one, audio two, so on. So I have my six new tracks here. And so when you look at the input panel for these tracks, so this top panel on each of these tracks, right below where it says IO, which stands for input output, you'll notice that it looks like they already did cascade for me. So I'm just gonna switch them all over to no input. So I held option and shift to affect all of them at once when I went and then changed the input. So now they're all at the same input, they're all at no input. And so sometimes we end up in a situation where we don't have them cascade cascaded already, but we kind of want them to be input one, input two, input three, input four, input five, and so on in our system. That's just an example. It could be like five, six, seven, eight, or whatever we want. But the basic idea is that sometimes we want them in series. And so in Pro Tools, we call that cascading them. So one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, whatever. It's cascading the inputs is what we call it. And so an example of when you might want this is, for example, if you're recording, if you're tracking, maybe you have your microphones, let's say you're tracking a drum kit, you might have six microphones. I just looked at how many tracks I have. So you might have six microphones that you've plugged in that are then on the drum kit. And you know that you've plugged them into your inputs in your system. Maybe it's input one, two, three, four, five, and six. And so then you might want to very quickly set your new tracks that you're creating for each microphone to those inputs in series. So this is an example of when you might use this kind of situation. So you could go through and be like, all right, I want to put this in mic line one mic line two, and so on, right? Or what you can do, I'm gonna switch these back to no input. What you can do is you can just go shift, option, and command. So I just held down shift, option, and command. I'm still holding them down. And then you go to the input panel and you've picked the first input that you wanna have in this series. So I could start at line six or line five, for example, and it'll go five, six, seven, and so on in the series for my setup, my system. Or I could go, for example, input mic one, right? And so you'll notice that these inputs now match, they go in the same order as the order that the inputs are in my system. And you know, you can also do this with buses. So I'm just gonna hold shift option command down again, and I'm gonna pick a bus, so bus 10. Now it's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and so on. You can also do this with outputs, right? A lot of times we don't have as many outputs for our system depending on what kind of system you have, but maybe I want to do outputs. So now say it's A34, 7, 8, 9, 10, so on. It's based on my system, right? So what's active in my system? Mine's kind of a mess right now. Look at that. It's okay. It's functioning. So that's how you cascade inputs or outputs. It's just shift option command. I like to remember it using the shape. So it's kind of like this. For you guys, for me, it's like that, right? Depending on perspective. But anyway, I remember the shape and that kind of helps me remember what the shortcut keys are to use in conjunction with, you know, clicking and selecting your option here. And you know, another thing that I'll throw in here that's not cascading inputs specifically, but it's also useful and it's kind of relevant to this, this topic is if you hold option and shift while you have a bunch of tracks highlighted. So again, you know, to cascade these inputs, I had to have all these tracks highlighted for it to affect them. But I have all these tracks highlighted. If I want to affect all of these tracks and put them all to the same input or output, I can just do option shift. So if I click, I'm holding option shift right now, and I go to no input here, it turns them all to no input. And the same thing, if I wanna set them all to output one, two, that kind of resets things for me for what I want to do. And all I did was option shift while I was highlighting those tracks. And you know, one more thing that I'll mention today is I'm just gonna set these to something different so you can kind of see this in action here. But if you hold just option while you click on any track in your session, the input or the output panel, if you then switch it to something, it's gonna affect every single track in your session. So at one, two, it changes all of them to at one, two. And actually it might be better to show you a track that's not highlighted here. So you can kind of see how even though I don't have a certain track highlighted, it'll still affect it when I'm using the option to affect everything. So now I'm holding option and I'm just clicking and it made everything output one, two. It doesn't matter which tracks you have highlighted. The other two things, 
I think it's two things I showed you, has to do with what tracks you have highlighted. So you have to actually have the name plates highlighted down here, but the option key will affect all of them no matter what. I think that's basically it. So yeah, I hope someone out there finds this helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'd appreciate all of that stuff. And I do have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Kato Noise. And my patrons get access to additional content. One of those things is our Discord server, which has been a ton of fun. Uh, we're all chatting about audio stuff on there. We have a book club on there. Um, and other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thank you for watching. Okay. Oh, I got a new chair. So this is it. Ooh, ah, beautiful. It has a footrest and it reclines. It's not super fancy, but I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's an improvement. I was using a stool for a little while and I I, I, I should not have done that because it's not good for your back. This is much better. Uh, maybe I'll put a link in the description to this one. I don't know. I just started using it, so I don't have a ton to say about it, but it's... um. It's a new chair. It's an office chair. I have my uh, new studio desk is here too, and I have to bring all the parts up here. <laughs> and so far I have everything up here except for the one big box, which is, I believe, the top part of the desk, like the main uh, flat tabletop part of the desk. And that is so heavy that I'm going to need to get some help to carry it up the hill here. But once I do that, I'm going to assemble it and that's going to be a whole thing. So that's going to be my next project. I think maybe tonight or tomorrow it's Friday right now. So I'm going to be doing that. Okay. Bye. <laughs>